Hi there, this is Rob Powell, and in this short video, I'm going to show you step by step how to build a quiz for lead generation. But before we start, let's quickly look at why quizzes work so well as lead magnets. There are two main reasons why quizzes are such a powerful lead generation tool. Firstly, quizzes use the principle of micro-commitments. Collecting the email addresses of your visitors is a key part of your marketing funnel, but it's also the point where you're always going to meet the most resistance. People are reluctant to hand over their email addresses, and for good reason. That's where micro-commitments come in. It's much easier to get someone to make a big commitment, like giving you their email address, if they have already made a much smaller commitment. In our case, this is where the lead gen quiz comes in. Clicking yes or no in your quiz takes your visitor through a series of micro-commitments that are easy to carry out. And that means that when they come to the much bigger commitment of submitting their email address, it's going to be much easier for them to do because of the smaller steps they've already taken. So that's one reason why quizzes work so well in lead generation. The second reason is that quizzes allow you to divide your audience into segments based on the answers they give in the quiz. And having your list divided into segments will help you deliver the content and solutions that your audience needs based on the particular problems or issues that they have. So that's why quizzes are such a powerful lead generation tool. There are several different kinds of quizzes that you can use for lead generation, but the one I'm going to focus on in this video is the scored knowledge quiz. And the reason for that is that it can be used on virtually any website you can think of. Whatever niche or industry you're in, there'll be a body of knowledge associated with that niche. And you can use that knowledge to create a quiz that tests your visitors and gives them a score. People like taking these knowledge type quizzes because they like to get an idea of where they stand in terms of the basic knowledge for that niche. So let's create a scored knowledge quiz. My website is about SEO. So in this example, I've put together a list of 21 SEO related questions. Each question has two or three possible answers, only one of which is correct. So once you've assembled the questions and answers for your knowledge quiz, head over to the Try Interact Quizmaker and uh, log into your free account and create new quiz. And you're going to click on this one, start from scratch. And we're going to be using this third option here, the scored quiz. And now find the questions tab in the left side menu and um, take your first question, which in my case is this, and drop it in there. And I've got uh, yes, no, and it depends as the possible answers. And then click on this button here that says set the answer scores. So the, the correct answer here is no. So I'm going to give that um, three. I'll give that one two and that one one and click save. Add new question. Copy your next question into your clipboard. Come back here into the quiz maker and drop that in there. And uh, put your possible answers in like that. And set the answer scores. The correct answer here is 60 to 70 characters. So give that a three, give that one a two, that one a one, and click save. Add a new question. Head back to your, um, your quiz questions and uh, Google still uses the keyword tag. Put that in as your question 
and I've got true, false, and sometimes. Set the answer scores. The answer is false. So I'll set that to three. I'll set that to two. And I'll set that to one and save. Add a new question. Page speed is a ranking factor. That's my fourth question. Put that in there. The answer is true. So I'll make that two and I'll make this one. Click save. Add a new question. Featured snippet gets more clicks than position one. Put that in there. And I've got true or false for this. Set the answer scores. That is uh, false. I'll, I'll give that a score of two and that one a score of one and click save. So I won't go through the whole um, 21 questions, but I think you get the idea. So in a, um, a lead generation quiz, there are three parts. There's the questions, the answers, and the results. So now, uh, so we've got the questions, um, and we've got the answers, and now we're going to um, create the results. So I'm gonna have um, three results. Um, You're an SEO newbie. And the, um, the intermediate result is you're getting good at SEO. And the third result is you're an SEO pro. So if you look here, you'll see that um, Interact, you'll see that the Interact quiz maker has assigned ranges to these results. And that means that anyone who scores um, 0 to 19 is going to get the first result. Anyone who scores 20 to 38 is going to get the second result. And anyone who scores 39 to 57 will get the third result. You can change these, though, by clicking on this red button here, Result Settings. And up here, you can change the range um, so let's say you maybe you wanted to change it to um, 11. You could do that and click Save. And then you'll see this one has, has automatically adjusted to 12. It begins at 12. And the same thing um, here, you could change this range um, to make it harder to qualify for that. You could change that to 45, click Save. And you'll see that the intermediate one now has adjusted. Um, the range is now 12 to 44. So the last thing you need to do is add lead generation. That's where you collect the email address of the um, person taking the quiz. So generally how lead gen quizzes work is that um, before the person can see the result of the quiz, they need to enter an email address where you're going to be sending them the result. So turn this on, toggle this button on, and you're going to get, you're going to come to this um, integration form. Choose your provider, your email marketing service, and uh, in my case, that's MailerLite. And now you can map your three results to groups within your subscribers. So click on add action and uh, I'm going to add this one to a group I've created called um, SEO scored quiz newbies. Click save. I'm going to map this one to a group I've created called SEO scored quiz intermediate. Click save. And I'm going to map this one to a group that I've created called 
SEO Scored Quiz Pros. Click Save. And this is where, this is one of the areas where quizzes become very powerful. They allow you to segment your audience. So you don't want to be sending um, a newbie the same information that you send to a pro and vice versa. Um, because uh, people will, if people aren't getting the information that um, is, uh, fits where they are in their journey, they're going to unsubscribe from your list. So this allows you to tailor your marketing content, your email content to the, the needs of your audience. Okay, now, now that you've done that, click save and continue. You can go a step further and um, map the actual answers that people gave to, um, to groups within your, um, within your list. But uh, that's, um, yeah, I think that's overkill for me. So I'm gonna click save and continue. So on the next screen, um, for these quiz score value, click down and find survey answer, and then click save and continue. And then you can test the integration by clicking that button. It's gonna send a test lead to your list to make sure that it works. Click that, and it's worked. So let's see now what the quiz looks like. Um, click on that, and uh, up here, uh, you could have an image, and, and you would have an image. Um, I just haven't bothered to do that. Um, so you'd have a, um, a an image that looks like a, a blog graphic up here. Um, but uh, that's something you can do um, in the editing mode. And again, here you would have an image as well at the top of here. And um, the... Uh, the completion rate dramatically increases if you put images in. So that's an important thing to remember. Uh, definitely don't leave it as, as text as I have it here. Uh, put um, images that um, trigger an emotional reaction in, in, the, in the quiz taker. Um, so um, the title of your tag has to be the same as uh, false. Um, 60 to 70 characters. Google still uses the keyword false. Page speed is a ranking factor, true, and so on. So that's how your quiz will work when it's on your website. So I hope this video has inspired you to create your own quiz. If so, there's a link below this video where you can get a free account on the Interact Quiz Builder. Um, so yeah, click on that link and make your own lead generation quiz. See you next time.